Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ricardo Bosi, National Leader of Australia One. Today is Monday, the 25th of October, 2021. And today I was required to appear before the Magistrates Court of South Australia uh, on a charge for refusing to comply with the direction, failure to wear a mask, which happened on the 10th of April when I visited Adelaide. I arrived at Adelaide Airport without a mask and I was uh, charged $1,000 for the pleasure. Uh, today was the magistrate's hearing. Uh, it was done by telephone since I am in Sydney. Uh, the magistrate asked me what I wanted to do. I told him that I would be reading a prepared statement. It would be recorded and then uh, I would hang up. Um, I started reading the statement, which you'll hear shortly and has been distributed. Uh, at a couple of points during the uh, the statement, the magistrate attempted to um, to speak, but I continued making my statement and eventually he hung up. I continued reading the statement to its conclusion. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, please enjoy. Note that the first couple of seconds uh, weren't recorded, so you'll come in shortly after I actually began. We'll see you at the end. Cheers. I seek no determination of guilt nor innocence from you. I seek nothing from you because you have nothing to bestow upon me. I acknowledge no claim to any authority you might make. You have no standing. You are at worst a traitor and at best an imbecile, the truth of which will be determined in due course when you will experience the law from the other side of the bar table at the hands of the people. But you will not be alone. Your learned friends, even from the highest places, will also be obliged to answer for their words and their deeds. None shall escape judgment and the guilty shall not escape punishment. We know not yet whether you have sworn secret oaths. We know not yet whether you have committed other crimes, but soon we will know all these things and more because there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be made known and brought to light, nothing. But it matters little whether or not you are guilty in law because at the very least, you have by your craven obsequiousness facilitated the brutal destruction of countless innocent people. There is no defense against this moral charge that will stand. Your blind and soulless obedience to your masters who have vi visited upon the Australian people the most egregious perversions of decency and depravity disqualifies you from any further role in the governance of this nation. You and the entire profession of the law have forfeited any right to my esteem, my deference and my obedience. I will not submit myself to any man or woman, nor any class of man or woman who by their action and inaction have eschewed plain decency and good sense and instead contributed to the most barbaric and purely evil betrayal of the people of the world. By what authority do I speak these words? By the authority that I'm a sovereign being. My life is my life. My liberty is my liberty. My property is my property. And so long as I do not do injury to another's life, liberty and property, none may interfere with mine. I am my own authority and you will submit to me just as you will submit to other millions of the sovereign Australians. We are the only source of lawful authority in this land. Now, before I dismiss you, there is one final issue to be addressed. Only six days remain for you to join with the people against the tyranny of which you are part. If you do not, may God have mercy on your soul in the next life, because we the people will have no mercy on the guilty in this one. Consider this carefully. Now, for the time being, at least I'm done with you, so be gone. But I notice that the magistrate uh, departed. He hung up halfway through. Makes no difference. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what must be done to bring a country to a halt. This will not end until we decide it ends. We must make governing this country impossible. We must bring it to a standstill. We will not risk life and limb, but we will stop the powers that be from exercising any control over this nation. The reckoning is coming, but you must make it happen. You must stand together. You must bring the country to a halt. This is Ricardo Bosi, National Leader of Australia One. Thank you for your time.